Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Invisible Ink. We raided a vault and just got like a, an obscene amount of money. Uh, not, and everyone, wow, everyone has maxed out speed and strength. Who knew? Okay. Um, we're headed to a nanofab next turn, next mission. Or are we? Have the, uh, yeah, there's no new missions have appeared. Uh... Oh, that's right. There's also this, this, I could go here first. Uh, but I kind of like, huh. I guess it would have been much more efficient to go to the nanofab first, but I wanted to have more money from the vault. That's what it was. Yeah. So we're, it's six hours away instead of like, this is five. So the minimum travel distance is five, five hours. The fact that we're going six here is not a big deal. That's fine with me. Um, so we'll do the nanofab first because we got, we got cash to spend. These two agents are both nearly maxed out, which is nice. Rush is not as close, but she's doing fine. Um, I'll go ahead and, I don't really need hacking level five. Like we have so much power. It doesn't matter at all. Like none of these agent upgrades are that big a deal right now. I want a third agent so I can start spending this money. Uh, but okay, so Banks got this new Paralyzer, which was for someone else, wasn't it? Did I not buy that? Oh, it's already... No. What? I already gave it to Prism. I see. Okay. A Prism, yeah, there's a Paralyzer 1. So let's just put some more Anarchy in here so she can use the Paralyzer 3. Prism already has, like, the Paralyzer 4. So I'll sell off the Paralyzer 1. Keep the Custom Paralyzer, I guess. Which is just a slightly better Paralyzer 1. Yeah, this looks like a good stuff set of stuff to be carrying. And um, let's just keep, like... A little money for the vault for the nanofab. Like, honestly, I don't need m more of any of this, but I guess I'll take more anarchy so it's easier to find items, and then we can finish up everyone's hack. Like, I can't believe that we're like spending so little on hacking. This this like seed plus prism. We're getting basically just a lot of sort of hacking skill from prism, uh, from her basic augment is compensating for hacking. And also, I guess we've had that accelerator chip for an awful long time. Maybe it's just that Seed is really good. It's giving us four power every turn, basically. So off we go, we're headed to the Nanofab. And I don't mind K and O at all. Their main thing is just that they have like reasonably difficult guards and turrets. And I don't mind turrets one bit. Banks is like insane, by the way. I have no idea what she's talking about. She's had like some sort of brain surgery or something that, I don't know. That's the story anyway. One of her intros to the level is, this place smells like burnt toast, but so do most things, I guess. Um, I don't know. Walking up there is actually kind of dangerous. Maybe I should take it slow. There might be a guard here I would have to KO, I guess. But I think if there is one, like, that's fine. We have some pretty strong paralyzers. Mm, we'll hide back here just in case there is that guard coming. But we're going to be near the console is the idea. Oh, let's peek. Still could be a guard coming. Oh, jeez. All these consoles before I have anything to spend power on, please. All right, nobody. Good. That's the way I like it. This is the only entry point so far, huh? Hmm. A little bit dangerous feeling. 
Whoops, shouldn't have gone so fast. There could have been anything in here. I wish I could have. I was like, I got an interrupter. Don't stop, stop running. But there's nothing you can do. Okay, two red doors. That's interesting. And some stuff to hack. How much power is this worth? Eight. Why is that? Am I crazy? Is that like grayed out? It looks like it works. I think it's just weird coloring. Anyway, yeah, eight power. Uh, so let's just hack this again. Sure. I could end the turn next to this last console, but I'm sort of dubious that I'm going to be able to spend all my power. So I guess I'll just end here. And I don't really think anyone's going to walk through. I know nobody's walking through here because we... Do I? No, we didn't scout this room out last turn. Not quite. All right, well, if anyone does come up, you know, you, you have permission to use force. There's a drone over there. Probably a pulse drone, it looked like. No. What kind of drone would do that? A pulse drone, camera drone. Null drone wouldn't be in KNO. I'm a little bit confused. I guess we could have used an EMP on these, on this uh, thing, since we can't really quite figure out the right way to get through. But the good news is, with thanks, we don't need to know the right way. Okay. Good to know. Well, let's just take that right out. Now we can get through there. And let's peek. There's another turret here. Well, or we could just take out this power supply, huh? Yeah, we could just do that. Uh, well, now I want the power from this console, but I couldn't really get it while still doing all this stuff, so that's life. Which, I guess I'll take this one first. We'll send Prism in this way, since she's sort of far away from the action. Her hacking skill is two. She could take two power from that. It's just not even worth it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Sort of a curious coincidence that all of our agents have wound up female this game. We did a random draw for the first two, and then... Um, randomly rescued one rush i think rush is easily my least favorite of this crew but i guess that's because we haven't had to use a lot of violence yet stationary right at the exit that's fine though the guard patrols will change eventually and then he'll move okay a server terminal Let's parasite the server terminal, I guess. We don't need it right away, because we will want to golem this next turn. But everything else is basically under control, I think. We could tag that guy. We should have tagged that guy. 
but I guess it's a pulse drone. Okay. But um, obviously he's he's stationary, which is why I like, yeah, whatever, who cares? Um, did I use a golem last turn? I must have, yeah. Um, so golem costs four, so I'll take it as my freebie and take out this power supply. And now I'm actually, you know, going to go back uh, and get, check this guy out again, because it really is important to, um, to get him tagged. Okay, there's the the goal. But right now I want to find guards so I can get value out of my tag. Doesn't look like there's any guards in here though. Let's just kill this demon. That's such a waste of power, but like... 2 plus 3 is 5. There's like 9 power in here though, right? So we kind of have to use it up if we want to grab that thing anytime soon. So pulse drones have no eyes. They just... Uh, Every turn they do a scan. Okay, there's another guard. I think that's enough value for my tag. <laughs> Is he stationary too? That's gross. Come on. Why can she not observe him? I guess just because we just tagged them and it counts as observed. I don't know, whatever. But we've tagged these guys. That's what's important. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we would get in here. I guess we're going to wait until next turn. Yeah, you can't see him from either of these areas. Oh well. So let's get Rush, I don't know, in here, go shopping. Hey, 2012. That's only a few years ago. Ah, uh, there's guard up there. Interesting. I suppose there could be more more stuff behind uh, this area, huh? But okay, so the pulse drone is coming back. That guard won't see us if we come down this way. Let's peek. Okay, so he will notice right here, huh? But there's nothing down here. All you can do is steal from this guard and hack a demon database. Which I mean, like, don't, don't get me wrong, demon databases are fine. I'll just put a parasite on that, it's fine. And I'd like to steal from the guard, but not so much that I want to deal with all this crap. If she ended her turn here, Yeah. Okay, so this is interesting, actually. The fact that we've now explored all the way to the edge in like basically every spot tells me that there actually is another area up here. And indeed, we can see these are actually revealed to be non-wall tiles. Okay. 
But so I was thinking uh, that we could send prism there, right? I guess the thing to do is just distract him a little bit, like um, here. Wow, he's just gonna like, from right where he's standing, just huck a grenade right here, huh? That's your, that's your plan. I can't convince you to do anything different from that, huh? Now he's gonna run to here. This is all like pointless and dumb. I need you to come out into the open if I'm gonna rob you, but it looks like he's not going to. So whatever, we'll just pass on that. Yeah, there's another shop and a door to the rest of the, uh, the level. Let's not sprint, there's no need. There could be a guard on the other side of this wall who would hear us. It saves us a few action points, but not a big deal. I could shut this door, that would get his attention to, to here, but I think I'm just gonna forget about this guy. He's tagged and we couldn't steal from him, oh well. So I believe um, touching this shop is going to make them recapture some of the devices we captured earlier. Uh, so I could consider not doing that until we are, we've already gone shopping at this server farm, server terminal. Yeah, I think I will. In which case, nothing much needs to be hacked right now. Could put a parasite on the nanofab, but there's no reason. So we're about to change up the guard patrols, which is going to make things exciting. Oh, grenade! Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this guy's coming out of his area. The pulse drone is coming in here. Taking a really weird path. What the hell is this? I've never seen that before. I wish I knew what demon this was, so I could decide whether it's a problem to... But whatever, let's, um... Let's go shopping. All right. Wow, they have, like, Model 4s of basically everything here. Right? What is a flash pack? Oh, interesting. So you, you place it on the ground and then detonate it whenever you want. That's pretty cool. Huh. Net downlink and distributed processing are both reasonable. So distributed processing, you just sometimes gain power. But like I have plenty. Net downlink, I think, would be a lot better. Uh, how about these weapons? We could upgrade to a Thermal Disruptor 3. What's the difference? One more armor piercing. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long. Gosh! Ugh. I hate that. I can't like look around while I'm trying to go shopping. And now like I can't use it. God. So frustrating and pointless. All right, whatever, let's go shopping here. We can just recapture it next turn. I just don't want to have to do that is all. Um, lock pick is not very good for us. Leash? It's all right. But um, it's sort of, well, actually, we only have $2,000. I was going to say, it's sort of starting to be the case that money is not the limiting factor for us. Um, but actually, there's a few things I want to buy at that nanofab. So maybe I'll 
I'll wait on this. But leash is like okay, lets you control drones for longer. Which, since we're going into Sankaku territory next, is actually pretty good. I'll take it. There's a new guard. Where are you going? Right in here, huh? Wow. A lot of arrows. Uh, well, we could come out here, or we could hide in this area. I think I'll send Prism to hide in this area and Banks out here. Whoa, hello. She's probably going to have to stim now to get out of there. That's why I sent Banks, it's because she has a lot of a lot better options available. Uh, you know, she has invisibility and so on. And I brought a charge back this time, so I can even use the stim twice if I need to. Not like on the same turn, but... Right, so it's on cooldown... 3 right now. So a charge back would actually make it usable next turn, I think, is how that works. Where are you going? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a mess in there. Ooh, a stim. Thank you, sir. I think Peak should look through that door now, right? None of these guys will see her. Camera. Okay, that's fine. Mm, let's spend a golem on this. Whoa, hello. A turret and a safe, okay. So I'm beginning to rethink my plan of leaving Prism here because there is a lot of stuff going on. Maybe I just skipped this other nanofab. Oh, and there's a safe in here. I didn't even notice. Uh, like, any one of these guards might be patrolling in here. And even if they're not, they might... Oh, so that explains why the pulse drone is taking this weird path. He's going around something else. But drones and guards can... I don't know. They can they can share share the same space at the same time. So I don't quite know why he has to route around something. And now it's fixed, right? Now they're not doing that anymore. Uh, so let's see. There's only there's one guard who's not tagged, right? It's this guy. And he's gonna be here-ish, maybe here. So I won't see him next turn. I'll go ahead and spend the power to tag him. It's like, it seems like a waste. I just tagged guys, but it was hard to get this guy and this guy in the same freeze frame anyway. So I'm okay with it. Any other hacking that needs to be done right now? No, we can golem this power supply next turn. Uh, we should put down some parasites, like on safes maybe. Are these magnetically reinforced at all? No. So we could just EMP all of this, actually. Probably this, too. So forget it. Let's not... Um... Uh, 
let's not put down any parasites on them. Okay, come on guys, just finish your turn. So you can actually, you can turn up the guard movement speed uh, so that they move faster. I might consider doing that at some point. Like, a lot of the time, I like, I do like to see where the guards are moving, but like when they're in my line of sight and I've got them tagged, I don't really care that much. Um, let's see. Oh. Um, yeah, so let's put, how much can I move and still get that with an EMP? It's quite a ways, okay. One, two, three squares further. Got it. Now I think I'll send Prism in here. No cameras, good. And no one will be looking next turn. So I'll just wait right here. Oh, she can just she can just pop this open herself. That's fine. That'll get her into a useful place sooner. Although I'm not actually sure where a useful place is right now. I bet Banks has this area all sort of handled on her own. Oh, let's take this back, shall we? Uh, let's give it a shot. Hmm. I guess we'll use a hunter first to get the full value of our discount. And I'll just put a golem here so I can get Rush back to work. So I want what I what I wanted to check was how much are her augments adding KO damage? And piercing so just one KO damage because when you look at a weapon here it shows like what that weapon is like with you wielding it but I was comparing it in the shop with one that she's not wielding yeah, so it's the same amount of KO damage same amount of power one more armor piercing and one more cooldown turn so that's that's fine for me do I want to keep this old one or does somebody else want it What's your weapon like? She'll keep this. Yeah, we'll keep the old. We'll, we'll, we'll sell Rush's old weapon. Yep. And um, putting one of these augments in would be nice, I think. Or it would be okay anyway. But the only agent with an augment slot right now is Prism. Uh, actually, wow. So that... The uh, net downlink actually synergizes, or at least thematically synergizes. I don't know if it's like mechanically that great, but if she gains power when we hack things and also gains AP, it's like great. You can, you can, it's good and hack things. I don't know. Um, I don't think we need distributed processing though. Torque injectors. Anyone want torque injectors? Banks already has it. Prison. Doesn't really need it. Okay, so we won't buy that. We'll just pick up a um, net downlink. And like a stim four as an upgrade to the stim one she's carrying, maybe? Like Stim 4 is pretty good. Oh, I can't even afford a Stim 4. Never mind. Well, I'm glad I spent all, all my money. That's what these places are for, to turn your useless old money into useful things. 
So what the hell is going on in this room? I have no idea where guards are going to be. Oh, I think I just figured out something about how the, the paths are drawn. So there's like this weird, uh, like the arrows say which way the guards are going, but like sometimes there's not arrows and I don't try, quite understand why. And I think that must mean that here's where one guard is going this way and one guard is going that way. That makes sense. So this guy must be coming back here, I guess. Someone's going up there. Hmm. All right, so I think what we do is we send Prism back here to pick up the power relay. So this is going to be a bad place to be next turn, basically no matter what, right? looks that way. Um, do we put a parasite on anything? Not really. We can take one of these, but I can always just golem them, right? So, and I'll gain power that way instead of spending it. Oh, so let's move banks down here. Oh, I shouldn't have... <laughs> I should have left her where she was because I want her to um, to open those safes while they're while they're EMP'd. Oh, they took back that turret. That's what's giving them the vision into this area. I need to take the turret back. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so right now nobody sees into this area. Yeah, they're coming this way. Oh! Whoa! Uh oh, that's not so great. Uh, but it's fine, we can just hide. What are all these guards doing? Is a guy going like that, maybe? There's not actually a very safe place to stand in this room. Oh, right here is good, okay. So I think we... What I'm trying to figure out is what guard is going this way? And I guess it's this one, right? He's patrolling through here and going that way. Then we have a guard patrolling through here and going that way. So it's fine to send Prism in here. We'll spend a golem on this. Is there anywhere good to stand now? Is, that is, is there an easy way out of this room now? And it looks like no. Uh, so we'll just stand here in the area we determined here, the area that we determined was safe. Is it actually just a pulse drone that's coming in here? That's kind of funny. Okay, so let's hack these things. And I do feel bad about forgetting that was my plan. Because I wasted some moves. And I, I'll probably have to hack this power supply later. Oh, come on. That, sh that should totally have gotten EMP'd. Well, maybe not. I did put it pretty far away. I want this available next turn so banks can get in and out. How many safes have we hit? One, two, three, Four, five. Okay, so I think later on in the game there starts to be more than five safes, but for quite a while it's just the five. Um, let's keep this door open, I guess. 
Yeah, it is a pulse drone coming in here. We have an easy exit coming up. And we've already hit all the main objectives, basically, so it's just a question of getting Rush out of that predicament. I mean, you know, Banks has to get out, but she'll be fine. I'm going to try, actually, uh, speeding up the guard movement. Let's see how that goes. Because uh, on this particular game, fast mode, yes, increased walking speed. Because I know that it's not going to, like, mess me up, because I've already tagged all the guards and I know what's going to happen. But I'll get to see, like, how fast everything is. Uh, let's see. I believe I can even have Banks sprint to make sure she gets out in time. I own this, don't I? I do, so I don't have to worry about the camera coming back on, just the turret. Well, in that case, maybe I don't need to sprint. I'm gonna come here and have 11 moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Yeah, she'll get to here, which is like fine. And if she walked any further, like someone might hear her anyway. So a sprint is not that productive. We only have 11 power. That's lower than we've been in a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, they do move a lot faster. I was like, wait, did I make her run or something? But yeah, that's cool. So what is all this about? He's facing that way right now. Ah! I didn't mean to click. That was not a fast mode thing. I just like clicked somewhere, but I didn't mean to. Uh, I could stand here, I guess, would be okay. Yeah, that works. Let's come back here, undo that undone movement. <laughs> and I think we'll probably take the drone next turn as well. Rush is being carefully monitored. She can't go anywhere. We haven't... We haven't searched this guy at all, but there's no real way for Rush to do so right now, so that's life. So guard is... oh, this is the guy who was chasing Rush, is now coming up this way. It's a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah, I definitely do want that pulse drone so I can confirm what I think is going on. And I have him for three turns now instead of two because I got that thing. So he's looking that way. That's actually very good to know because it means we can tuck ourselves in with this nanofabricator with no problems. As long as we have the AP for it. Nobody's looking, so come on in. Banks can get in too. Wow, they're so fast. They just gain power for hacking things. It's amazing. Don't want that. This is a gun, you know, a dart gun. Shock trap three. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Gotta have, gotta have that. It's the best. So good. I'm glad we can afford it. Wait, it only costs like 700 something? Is it like half price? I thought it was like... Oh yeah, stuff here is less expensive than 
it was at the main giant. So I see. So they, they actually raise prices on this thing. Interesting. I like that. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, it's bad for the player, but I think it's a good mechanic. This guy looks like he's just patrolling back and forth here, right? Any other hacking that needs to get done? Where's the exit over here? Okay. Let's just confirm what this guy's up to. Can't see him, but I will next turn. Yeah, that's reasonable pace. I'm only worried about like if I have to move the camera around to see where someone's where I'm hearing someone from. It might be kind of hard. This guy has not been searched. That guy hasn't either. Uh, but this one has... So there's a guy staring right at this door, and I've already searched that guy, so I don't want to open the door. I would love to search this guy, but I can't get to him, so whatever. So I think we just move Rush to the exit. Should have checked for a camera. Oh yeah, and I can put the drone right here, observe this area more thoroughly. This guy we can KO next turn, I guess. Just like stand here. She has an ambush that will be perfectly sufficient to the task. And I don't believe we've managed to search this guy. He was the one who was at the corner down here with the demon database. I heard a guard moving around down in the southeast. Oh, okay, we do have him tagged. He's just doing something totally irrelevant, so irrelevant that I haven't even noticed him this whole time. Oh, good, a pass guard. Let's leave. Uh, and the thing I do want to remember to do before I leave is install this augment, um, just so I remember who it was for, basically. I guess there's only one person who could wear it, but here you go. Um, who do I want to have the shock trap? I don't know. Probably not Banks. She can take care of herself. I don't know, I'll give it to Rush. No, Rush, you know, I'll, uh, here we go. That's fine. Rush has uh, the ability to KO guards on her own. This is something that will KO guys even with armor, so it's like kind of useful to give it to Prism, who has the worst armor piercing capabilities. Okay, we made it out. Uh, substantially shorter than the last mission, so that's nice. Hmm. And I think nobody ever even knew we were there, except for that one guard we knocked out on the last turn. So, oh, and one of the turrets, I think, saw us, but you know, whatever. Uh, so that's, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.